We're good. We're, we're happy. happy. All right. So this this is a big week. There's a lot that's gone into putting this record out. What's it feel like to finally be you know, having this out and unleashing this music? Uh, it feels like uh, giving birth to a nine thousand pound gorilla. Um, it's been quite a journey. It, this record really is, I think, uh, an incredible thing to be celebrating, considering all of the challenges that we had while we made it. It was in a very intense time. And without going too much into challenges, because it's a, it's a big story, but it, it was kind of a struggle to get this made. So, to, to actually, did you see this coming? Did you know that eventually this album would come out, or was there a time maybe six months or a year ago where it seemed like who knows what's going to happen? There were days that we doubted if the record would ever see the light of day. I mean, we were in the middle of a, a pretty intense lawsuit with our record label. They sued us for $30 million. Um, and it kind of felt like we went to make this record and the world fell apart, not only for us, but the entire world. So it was an interesting time to be working on something like this. Mm -hmm. There's no mistake that the record's called This Is War. You know? At the end of the day, though, that, that'll be forgotten, and the music is going to stand, hopefully. Yeah. Talk about how proud you are of, of the music on this record. Well, we're very proud. I think it represents who and what we're all about uh, at this time in our lives. And uh, it was an incredible journey, uh, conflict aside. It, it was The great thing about music is you always have an opportunity to redefine, reinvent, rediscover. Uh, and we took advantage of that. I think a lot of people are going to be really shocked and surprised by this record. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new 30 seconds to Mars. People are really digging it, and all the response has been great, and, and, and sales have been great already, right out of the box. What does that feel like? Is it is it is it a nice payoff for everything you've been through to know that this is all kind of it's kind of working out for you? It's exciting. It is. I, I never thought we'd be number two on iTunes or number one on Amazon. All these bizarre things, which are great to have happen. You don't think about that when you're making a record. You just try to do the best job that you can and. We're just so happy that it's finally out and people are listening to it and we're able to share it with the world. It's and for such a, such a big record now, not everyone realizes you guys can kick around now for over a decade and, and building up to this point. You're making it sound old now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not, you didn't just decide to do this last week. You guys have been a band for yeah. a long time and you've worked to get to this point. Yeah, we've been signed for 10 years. It's been a long uh, journey. We were a band a decade before that. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, there's a lot of people that have joined us in this amazing journey, and we're really grateful for it. Mm -hmm. You've involved a lot of your fans in this album in lots of different ways. I know yeah. first we saw some video of them actually part of the recording. Yeah. So if you can talk about a little bit of that, about that specifically. Well, I had this idea. I wanted to do something really interactive for this record, and uh, so we invited the world to record with us, to sing with us, to experiment, to stomp and clap and shout and do all kinds of things. We did the first. Uh, Summit, which is what we dubbed it, in Los Angeles, a thousand people showed up from around the world, and it went so well, we did it in eight other countries around the world. Uh, and then one day, I got a Twitter message from someone in Iran who was frustrated that they couldn't join one of the global summits, so that was the impetus for the digital summit. And we utilized uh, Twitter and TwitVid and some new technologies and and uh, invited people to, to continue in this crazy experiment. And it's all over the record. So if people have heard Kings and Queens or seen the video for Kings and Queens, when it sounds like there's a ton of people singing on the song, it's actually a ton of people. It's tens of thousands of people from all over the world. So that was really fun, really exciting to do. Are you feeling the payoff in that now in terms of fan response now that the album's actually oh, yeah. out? Everyone feels like they're part of this project. Yeah, yeah, it's really, I mean, 30 Seconds of Ours is just three guys in a band. It's, it's really all of us. And when we've been playing these songs live, the audience is actually part of the band now. So it's, uh, the inter interactivity is really, really exciting. And this video, this film that people are seeing now for Kings and Queens is pretty amazing as well. Thank you. So how, how much work to get that done, <laughs> to close the streets, end up at the fair, gather up that group. Yeah. Couldn't even imagine what went into putting that together. It was, it was definitely a pain in the ass, but worth it. It was fun. Uh, it, previously, we had been to the Arctic. 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle and shot on icebergs and glaciers. And before that, uh, we went to People's Republic of China, made the very first American rock video in China. Uh, so for this next video, we felt it was appropriate and uh, uh, important for us to turn the cameras on our home, the city of Angels. So we shut down streets in downtown, tunnels and bridges. We shut down Hollywood Boulevard, Santa Monica Pier, Mulholland. And, filmed this incredible journey through the city. It was a lot of fun. Where does all that ambition come from in you and the band to, to go to these other countries? It's just pure streets? survival, man. It's just pure survival. It's uh, it's life or death. You know, we I, we really take the, the, the videos, the short films, uh, 
uh, as serious as we do uh, the songs themselves. And it's an opportunity. Obviously, I have some. Uh, I, I've had some experience in the film world, and I'm able to to actually apply some of that to these projects. Very good, very good. We'll talk about. We'll talk about the cover, then we'll play around the cover. But what you've done with the covers here for this also involved the fans, obviously. Yeah, I came up with I think the most annoying artwork idea for a record company in the history of uh, the record industry, and that was to do 2,000 different uh, CD covers. And it really came from a desire to celebrate the release of the physical CD to thank the people that have been joining us in this crazy journey all these years. And we all know we're in the death of one system of delivery and the birth of another, which is the digital age. So I was thinking, what could we do? How could we do something really fun and exciting? So we did 2,000 different covers. And we put a different face of a fan, a friend, or a family member, uh, or an artist that we respect or admire uh, on each CD. So when you go to the store uh, to get the CD, uh, you never know who you're gonna get, and you actually don't know where yours is either. So people have been trading them all over the internet already. I've collected quite a few. I have a Bam Margera from Jackass. I have a Terry Richardson, who's a, a photographer friend of mine, and I have our manager Irving Azoff, the legendary Irving Azoff uh, cover. So I'm, I'm, I've got my eyes out, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really determined to collect them all. Very so. cool. Let's, let's see. It. All right. So yeah, we have actually uh, a surprise here. Um, a, a lot of people don't know that there's actually a very special cover out there. And there are quite a few of them. You know, we didn't announce them because we wanted to be kind of uh, like the ultimate sca scavenger hunt. Um, but Mario participated. Okay. Uh, and I have to say, he looks very handsome here. Of course, the, the best teeth in the business. And uh, a million dollar smile. So. Thanks, Mario. We appreciate it. We're glad to have you on the Faces of Mars. Awesome. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. Let me just do it one more time as if he was, I'm gonna, he's in the newsroom, in the studio. And just, yeah, I just heard Jared's out there. Just go directly to him, like, hey, Mario, look, I got this, and kind of just do that again, just straight to him. I didn't understand the, the just, difference. Yeah, I got the, uh, just as if I wasn't here. Just one more, just straight time into camera. So he's gonna say what now? He's gonna say, I heard Jared's out in the newsroom right now for 30 oh, seconds yeah, to yeah. Mars. Okay, okay, ready? Hey Mario, yes, we do have a very special surprise for you. Uh, I think you've heard about the Faces of Mars campaign, but I'm not so sure you know about this. There's all kinds of interesting uh, artists and friends and fans and uh, people of interest. And we also have one of the most uh, handsome men in showbiz with a million dollar smile, Mario. Love this.